Sophia is, she's just a, a bright light. She's a very, very happy child. Any room that she walks into, she just brights up anybody's day. She's just always so happy, so loving, so affectionate, and that's just who she is. Dear Mr. Sacco, we would like to start off by apologizing for taking almost a year to write this letter. Thanks to your amazing staff, we have a beautiful and energetic daughter who captures most of our time. When we realized that we were pregnant, I was extremely excited. Sophia was born and, and everything initially appeared to be perfectly normal. I heard her cry and you know I had this uh, amazing feeling of excitement. Um, and then you know I'm in the bed and they've taken, they've taken Sophia to like weigh her and do everything. And all I'm hearing is, oh, you know, she has uh, a cleft palate. Our daughter Sophia was born with a condition called Pierre Rubin sequence, which required her to be transferred to the NICU at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital immediately after birth. Within hours of, of Sophia being born, um, the potential course of treatment was, was um, was being discussed. One of the scenarios was a surgery, and this process would go on for a month um, and would have us in the hospital the whole time. We couldn't imagine our lives like having to be in the hospital for you know four to six weeks or you know longer. We really wanted to get out to be able to be to be comfortable in our own home. With the help of your wonderful staff, our little girl progressed rapidly through all of the milestones she needed to meet before going home. The biggest difficulty is, with Sophia's case in particular is that she had a cleft palate and there was no barrier between her um, roof of her mouth and her nose. So when she would go to swallow, she couldn't even expel the, the liquid from the bottle. Really that was the only thing that was holding her uh, or keeping her here in the hospital was, was the feeding. We weren't able to get her to drink the milk that she needed on her own. For me as a clinician, a cleft palate to me for feeding is not a big deal. We can work on it. But for a parent, it might be the end of the world. So what we did was try to normalize it as much as possible and show them that she can be successful with even the smallest amounts of taking a formula. And always um, approaching the successes and showing the parents the success that the patient's doing, rather the long road ahead of how much they have to work on. They really did a great job at um, helping us be discharged. We can't lose perspective on why we're here and that's for the patient and taking that family-centered care and asking the parents what their goals are, trying to bring it down to a goal that we can work on together. Not long after we went home um, with Sophia, there was a, a, a cleft team um, appointment and that was a great way for us to to find out that the, the course that we were on was the correct course, in which in this case was a, a surgery at right around a year of age to close her palate. We decided to set up a home program and that was also so important in Sophia's care because after several speech sessions, she was making the sounds that were appropriate for her age. Please. When we first started going, she was only saying maybe like seven words, and now she's, you know, saying over 50 words and, you know, doing all the exercises, and, you know, she really loves it. She had some big challenges to overcome. She needed to learn how to talk, and within just several sessions, she overcame that too, so. <laughs> this started out as a very traumatic experience. Um, and has now become a, a great experience. Every week she comes to see me, um, she's achieving new milestones and she's saying new things and she's doing new things and you become invested in the goals that you're achieving and in what you're working with with the family. I can say that I, I made a difference in this child's life. She now fills our house with laughter and an unbelievable amount of energy. We cannot thank your team enough and thought it was important for you to know just what an outstanding group of heroes you have working with you. Sincerely, Christina and Christopher.